Positron Emission Tomography, Computed Tomography, and PET-CT, which is a combined diagnostic tool, are key technologies of nuclear medicine, along with MRI. By injecting glucose, which is replaced with some short-lived isotopes, into the body, a three-dimensional CT scan can easily detect small cancer tissues that cannot be detected by MRI. The glucose used here, FDG, must be produced and used immediately due to its short half-life. And what you need here is cyclotron. A PET-CT operating hospital always has a cyclotron. Professor Jong So Che's team of Sung Guan University, who led localization of cyclotron, is now taking the lead in various application technology development as well as performance improvement and miniaturization. Cyclotron is a small particle accelerator. Two cylindrical electromagnets are disposed in the upper and lower parts of the tank in a vacuum state to form a magnetic field, and alternating current is supplied to hollow D-shaped electrodes D1 and D2 placed in between the two electromagnets so that the polarity keeps changing while injecting hydrogen anion which consists of a hydrogen atom and electrons to the center. Hydrogen anion is accelerated by magnetic field to the anode, being pushed away to the outside, making a circular movement. But in the inside of electro with no electric field, it is not accelerated, but moves at a constant velocity. When it reaches the electrode tip and the polarity is changed, it is accelerated again to the opposite one. As a result, Hydrogen anion is constantly accelerated while it is moving between D1 and D2 according to the electrode change, and it moves spirally and gets faster and faster as the magnetic field expands the orbit. When hydrogen anion passes through the outermost orbit to the outlet, electron is detached by the carbon-thin film, making it proton, and the energy reaches a sheer 10 million electron volts at that time. The high-energy particles produced in this way have tremendous destructive power. They can even change nucleus of an atom. The fluorine in FDG mentioned before was originally stable isotope of oxygen-18 present in heavy water. As a proton with high energy collides with it and enters the nucleus, a neutron is released instead and it becomes the isotope of fluorine-18. When you refine the fluorine-18 and react it with solutions such as mannose triflate, acetonitrile, hydrochloric acid, and potassium hydrogen carbonate in a reactor, FDG comes out. Therefore, a cyclotron is the most important facility for producing FDG, a key element of PET-CT. Professor Che's team is developing cyclotron application technologies, not to mention miniaturized, automated, and high-power cyclotron. Cyclotrons require very delicate and precise control of the alternating current frequency and magnetic field strength, depending on the accelerating particle. If the control fails, the particle loses its rotational power and disappears inside the accelerator. What was developed by reversing these characteristics is a cyclotron accelerated spectrometer AMS for separation of carbon-14 used for radioisotope dating. When the cyclotron is operated according to the condition of carbon-14, particles of different mass lose their rotational force and disappear from inside. As only carbon-14 is accelerated and then classified and refined, accurate mass measurement is possible. The team is also developing a technology to generate neutrons for neutron radiography, which is used for a security search and non-destructive testing by using cyclotron. It is a technology that collides a high-energy proton with beryllium target to release neutrons and use them for a neutron imaging device. 
The academic value of this technology was verified through six papers while securing intellectual property rights through 25 domestic and overseas patents. It achieved four commercialization results. The mother of a particle accelerator that produced a lot of Nobel Prize, Cyclotron, the technology pursuing versatility, miniaturization, and high power will continue to expand its value through various application technologies.